so speaking from a, a work perspective, um, what advice would you give cybersecurity students who are getting their knowledge and experience in 2022? What, what trends or innovations should be they be watching for in the new year? Um, you know, so what I see happening in the security environment is uh, security as code. I mean, this is basically the trend. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's driven by the earlier conversation around the cloud. Mm-hmm. The security, the security leaders of tomorrow are software developers today. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I am, I'm uh, pretty sure of that because what I see all of our clients doing is trying to automate the security process. And they're doing it because they can't find enough people, plus they want better efficacy. So by automating, they could have more confidence in their, 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 their mitigations, more confidence in their controls, uh, and it's, it's faster, better, smarter. Well, mm-hmm. that puts a huge amount of demand on people that understand how to automate and how to uh, take a complex problem and turn it into a simple solution that can be done over and over and over again. So, I mean, what I tell more junior people that are interested in getting in this space, problem solving is rule number, is, is, is requirement number one, that would be interested in solving the problem. And then two is some data analytics skills mm-hmm. and some scripting automation programming skills, even if it's just basic Perl and Python are super valuable to the average employer. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.